Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is automatically add new leads from Google Forms to Go High Level CRM. Now suppose guys you have created a form using Google Form to get the details from your users or the details from your leads and you are using Go High Level as a CRM application. So you want every time a user fills the form and submits the detail, you want to add that very same user as a new contact in your Go High Level CRM. But the manual process of getting the details from Google Forms manually and manually adding that person into your Go High Level CRM can be very much repetitive and time consuming. So in this video, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever a new form will be submitted in Google Forms, automatically instantly the very same user who has submitted the form with very same details will be added as a new contact in our Go High Level CRM. Interesting, right? Now here you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just 2 minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Forms to go high level. And click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of Google Forms submission from Google Forms inside Public Connect. Then after that, using Public Connect, we will send that very same form submission data to Go High Level so that we can add that very same user into a Go High Level CRM as well. So here in Trigger window, in Choose App, let's search for Google Forms first. Google Forms. And after that, in Trigger Event, we have to select New Response Received. After selecting our Trigger Event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we will use this webhook URL to make the connection between Google Forms and Pavli Connect and to get the Google Forms submission data in Pavli Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here and to make the connection, just follow, just follow the steps given over here in the help text. So after copying this webhook URL, let's go to the form which we have created. So this is a basic simple form which we, I have created in, for this video. So the name of the form is contact us. I'm asking the first name, last name, email and phone number four basic details from the user. So after creating the form of your choice, here as you can see, we are in the questions tab. We have to go to the responses tab and after clicking on responses, we have a small spreadsheet icon over here. Just click on it, select create a new spreadsheet and click on create. Now we can see that this spreadsheet opens up, this Google Sheet opens up. Now this is the very same Google Sheet in which our Google Form Submission data or Google Form Submission response is being stored. So after opening the sheet, just go to Extensions, go to Add-ons and click on Get Add-ons. So basically the idea is we will be getting the details or the data of form submission from this particular spreadsheet. After clicking on Add-ons, we can see that we have reached to the Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in search apps, we have to search for Pavli Connect Webhooks, P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pavli Connect Webhooks. And as you can see, Pavli Connect Webhook add-on is already installed in my Google Sheets account. You just have to also install this very same add-on into your Google Sheets. And after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheets once. It is a very important step to do. After refreshing the spreadsheet, just go to extensions and we can see that Pavli Connect Webhooks, this add-on can be seen over here. Just hover on it and click on Initial Setup. After clicking on Initial Setup, a dialog box appears in front of us. And in this dialog box, it is asking us for the three details. First is Selected Sheet. So here in this particular spreadsheet, we can see that there is only one spreadsheet named as Form Response. So it has by default selected that very same spreadsheet. 
Then the second thing it asks us is webhook URL. Now here in the field of webhook URL, we have to paste the very same webhook URL which we have copied from Pavli Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here, go to the Google Sheets and paste it over here. And at last it is asking us for the trigger column. So here you must be thinking how we are going to get the trigger column and what is it? So trigger column is basically the last data entry column of a spreadsheet. So just for an example, in the background sheet, you can see that the column E will be my trigger column because it is the last data entry column of my spreadsheet. So here in trigger column, I will enter column E. And at last, just click on submit. After clicking on submit, once again go to extensions, Pavli Connect webhook, and here we have to, this time we have to select send on event. By selecting send on event, we are telling this add-on, we are telling this Google Sheet that whenever a new data in a new row is added in this spreadsheet, immediately send that very same data to the Pavli Connect using the webhook URL. So after selecting our send on events, we have successfully connected Pavli Connect with Google Forms or should I say Google Sheets as well. Now after that, we have to make a form submission, a dummy submission in the form which we have created so that we can receive the form submission data of this very same form in Pavli Connect. So let's get back to Google Forms and click on this preview button over here. Now our form is opened up in preview mode. Let's enter the details of a dummy user. For example, dummy name, dummy name, a dummy email address, and a dummy phone number. So after entering the details of a dummy user in this Google form, just click on submit and the form is successfully submitted. Now, because we have connected this form with Pavli Connect using a webhook URL, we will see that the details or the data of this very same form submission will be also captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's get back to Pavli Connect. And yes, guys, here in trigger window in our workflow, we can see that we have received a response over here. And in this response, we have received the very same details of the form submission, which we have just now made. We have the very same first name, same last name, same email, and the same phone number entered by the user in the form submission, which means the connection between Google Forms and Public Connect is working perfectly fine. And the step one of our automation of setting up this automation is also completed. We have successfully received the Google Form submission response in Public Connect. Now let's move to step two, where we have to send this very same data to go high level to add this very same person as a new contact in our go high level account. That too as a new lead. So for that, just scroll down and come to our action window. And here in choose app, we have to search for high level. High level it is. After that, it is asking us for the action event. So in action event, we have to select create or update contact. Just after selecting action event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our go high level account with Pavli Connect. And to make this, this connection, we have to enter a API key, a API token over here to, in Pavli Connect to make the connection between Pavli Connect and go high level. Now here you must be thinking how we are going to get the API key. So to get the API key, just go to the dashboard of your go high level account. And on the left side, there is a settings option over here. Just click on settings. And after clicking on settings, just scroll down and here you will find the API key of your own Go High Level account. Just copy this API key from here, go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And after that, just click on save. After clicking on save, we can see that our Go High Level account is now successfully connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, it is asking us first name, last name, full name, email, phone number, and other details of the user to whom we want to add as a new contact in Go High Level. So we have received some details from the Google Form submission in Pavli Connect in our trigger window response. We will basically map these very same details one by one in this action steps over here. So first we have to enter the first name. So guys, we have to map the first name from the trigger window response. And the process of mapping guys is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down below, we can see all the responses which we have received from Google Forms. And out of all these responses, select the response of first name and map it. Then follow the same process of mapping for the last name. From the drop down, select the response of last name. Then it is asking us for the full name. So here in this field of full name, from the drop down, first we'll map the first name, give a space, and then we'll map the last name. And in this way, it completes the full name. Then it is asking us for the email. 
So we have also received the email from Google Forms and from the dropdown, we will map the email as well. And at last phone number, we have also received the phone number and we are mapping it. Now, after this guys, we have to basically add, it is asking us address, city, country and other details of the user. But we haven't asked for these details in the Google form in this video. You can basically create a Google form of your choice, get the details and map it over here. And these fields are not mandatory, not required. So I'm just going to ignore these fields for now and I'll just scroll down. And after scrolling down, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a very positive response to us. This response shows that the details of the customer whose details we have added, basically the details of the user who has submitted the Google form, we have added that very same user into a go high level CRM. So guys, let's check it. We'll go to go high level, click on go back and click on contacts. And yes, guys, we can see that dummy name, the very same user whose details we have entered while making the Google form submission, the very same user is now automatically added as a new contact in our go high level account. So we have the very same name, same email address, as well as the same phone number over here, which means guys, the automation, which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, after using this automation, every time we will receive a new form submission in Google forms, Using Google form submission data, the very same user will also be added as a new contact in our co-high level CRM. So let's test this automation in real time once. We'll go back to our form, we'll refresh it, and this time we'll enter the details of a new user. For example, test name. Test name, a new email address. And a new phone number and click on submit. So just now we have added the details of a new contact over here in this Google form submission. We have entered the details of a new user and submitted the form. Now after that, because we have created this automation, this very same user whose details we have entered will be automatically instantly added as a new contact in our go high level CRM. So we'll get back to go high level and refresh this contact page once. And yes, guys, we can see that the very same user test name whose details we have just now added is just now automatically instantly added as a new contact in our go high level CRM, which means we have tested this automation in real time. And this automation is working perfectly fine. Now let's just get back to public connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation. So first we have created a workflow inside public connect. And in this workflow, we have selected Google forms as a trigger application and new response received was our trigger event. Then using a webhook URL, we have connected Google forms and public connect. After that, we have made a test form submission, a dummy form submission in our Google forms so that we can get the Google form submission response, the data of Google form submission in public connect. Then using public connect, we have sent that very same data to go high level so that we can create a new contact or add that very same lead as a contact in our go high level CRM. So not just these application guys, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using public connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this very same workflow into your own public connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check public and pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.